It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Deeds Brewing Company and this is a can of their Dark Skies Dark Lager coming in at 5.3% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Established 2012, we just recently reviewed, as of just a couple of days ago, the Lexicon Lager and that was terrific. Really good beer. So. Went out to my beer stash, had a little look at my Australian beers that um, I've been sent some amazing beers recently from Trav in Australia and Mick in Australia. So I had a little mooch around my beer stash and I come across this dark lager. I thought the lexicon was really good, but I love a dark lager. So this could be even better for my own personal perspective. If you like roasted malt, darker malts, then yeah, th th this will be definitely for you. Well, you've got to hope anyway. So without further ado then, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. A little bit of puff and a little bit of beer flying around the kitchen on the opening. Oh, look at that. Oh. Sometimes I have to pinch myself. Like, sometimes I feel so, so kind of, I put a lot of work into this, a lot of work, but I feel unbelievably privileged and, 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 um, to be able to stand here during the daytime and grab a beer, something like this, and review it and take my time with it and, and, and look at it. And, and I can smell it from here. It smells delightful. Um, yeah, I feel really, I don't want to use the word blessed. Blessed is like almost like a, um, um, too, too, too much of a, like a softy word to use. I feel, I feel, yeah, anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. We got a two to three finger, slightly off white head, slow moving carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. Dark amber colored beer. Like what I'm trying to say is after, after 10 years, 12 years of reviewing beer on YouTube, like I still wake up in the morning and I'm, I'm like, right, yesterday, my, my, my day yesterday, I bought an antique um, ashtray, beer ashtray for my bar. I bought an, an, a kind of an antique type of, of um, pump clip to go on my, my beer pump. And I bought two really old classic beer kind of engines to sit on the bar. Um, and, I, and, and, and my plan is to kind of fix the lights in them because they light up and, and polish the brass and kind of like fit them to the bar and, and I'm still what I'm trying to say is I'm still massively 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 into beer like I was 12 years ago it's something that that I seem to be getting more excited about as the years go on so aroma that smells fantastic it really does you get the roasted malt coming through Little bit of roasted mar, a little bit of kind of toastiness coming through. That's a bit of a dominating kind of aspect of the of the aroma is that is that roasted malt. So I'm not really getting a sense that it's a lager at this stage. If you handed this to me in the bar and said, uh, you know, try this, I'd be like, well, okay, what is it? And I, I'd have to kind of, I'd get my nose in, but I'd have to try it, drink it to, to realise that it was a lager. So we're going to do that. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Trav. Yeah, it's good. Really good. So refreshing. 
So I'm picking up caramel. It's got a good body to it. it it's more of a, it's definitely more of a full bodied lager with that roasted malt added. It's, do you know what it's drinking like? And I'm so excited for this. It's drinking like a Vienna lager. It's, if you were trying to imagine in your mind what this dark lager tasted of, it, it's definitely quite close to Vienna lager, but with a little bit more roasted malt. Vienna lagers generally seem to be kind of like really toasty, really lovely and toasty and biscuity. Whereas this is toasty and biscuity, but then with that extra layer of roasted malt on the top. It's a beautiful drink, really is. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Um, I asked myself the question, really, if I tasted it, would I be able to recognise that it was a lager? Do you know if you told me, if you put it in a mild glass, if you put it in this kind of pint pot, and you handed it to me, and you said, do you know what, that's a, that's a, that's a really good English mild. I would need some convincing... I would I would generally agree with that person who said you know you, here's here's this mild it's got the mouthfeel of a mild it's creamy it's rich it's not like super 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 refreshing like like a golden lager would be like a pilsner or a Hannah's lager would be but then again it's not meant to be it's meant to be a dark lager so. It's interesting. It has the bitterness on the back end. It has the bitterness to suggest that it's probably kind of base pilsner with roasted malt. It's really good. Really, really, really good. Wow, okay, there's a big explanation on the side of this can. I could stand here for two minutes and talk to you about it. Um, but I'll just pick out some of the important things, I think. I'll show you the can, pause the video, and you'll be able to read the description for yourself if you want to. The hops are Hallertau tradition. The style is a dark lager. They're based in Victoria in Australia. And I'm going to show you. So if you want to pause the video right now and have a read of that. Okay, so on we go. Um, it's probably about a, I don't know, it's quite, I really, if I had a bit more time, I'd, I'd, I'd like to read the description. But if it was a quick description, yeah, I'll, I'll bang that out. It, it, it's probably talking about the, the, the malt and everything else. But if it's a bit of a story, then I'll leave you guys read it because it's somebody's opinion. It's somebody's story. It's not my story. You're here to watch me give my little opinion and my story about this beer. So rocking the beer back and forth, rolling the beer around in the glass. You can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's terrific. Terrific. What I would do at 5.3% ABV, I would grab, if I was living anywhere near Deeds Brewing Company that was, I would grab three cans of Hexagon Lager. And I would grab three cans of this and I would sit in the garden on a sunny Sunday afternoon and I would just, yeah, it would be incredible, wouldn't it, to, to, to just sit there with a little bit of music on in the background, a um, couple of snacks, a couple of bags of crisps on the go, maybe some pork scratchings and just sit there watching the world go by with a few beers, maybe get, get in the hammock, maybe get in the hammock with a few of these lagers and just... Just, just let that Sunday afternoon roll on by. Um, that's where I'm kind of, I've always been, I've always talked about, ever since the channel started 12 years ago, I've always talked about kind of relaxation. I've always talked, it's a big important part of my life because I spend a lot of my time rushing around on my feet and, and kind of doing these projects and, 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 and like all my hips hurt and my knees hurt and my back hurts and, and, and you must think I'm like a lazy bastard, you know, type of thing by talking about these Sunday afternoons sitting in a hammock or sitting in a chair. But that's the only real day. 
That's the only real day where I go, actually, I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to do absolutely nothing today. I'm just going to sit in that plastic chair or sit in that hammock or sit in that metal chair in the garden. As long as the sun's shining, I want a few beers. I want a few. That, that's all I want to do on a Sunday. Right, so rating. Rating for this lovely beer then. Looks good. Smells good. Tastes wonderful. Dark Skies by Deeds Brewing Company. Yeah, it's fabulous. Um, I'm really kind of... It's not sunny today. It's rather damp and miserable. I'm just going to go and uh, process this video on the computer now and just sit with it and just enjoy it while it's uh, processing on the computer. So um, I like this beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Reno Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Thank you very much to Trav. Boom! Cheers!